Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm still here, still in self-quarantine and I think it's the perfect time to do one of the videos that you guys ask so much and like so much which are the videos where I commit to wearing something for an entire week, seven days straight and I decided to do something different. I decided to do like a makeup video where I wear someone's makeup for seven days straight and who's better for me to copy their makeup than the one and only Alexa Adamy that you guys are always comparing me to. Funny story, six years ago or something my boyfriend sent me this picture on Tumblr of a girl and that was actually Alexa six years ago so she wasn't famous or anything and I actually thought we looked so much alike back then because we wore the same kind of makeup uh, right now I think we don't look as much alike but I can totally see why you guys think we look alike and I decided to do her makeup also because I know Euphoria has like the best makeup looks ever. You guys are always telling me to watch it, go watch it. It's so inspiring because of the makeup. Honestly, I haven't watched because I'm not a big fan of like high school drama kind of series, but I will promise I'll give it a try just because of the makeup looks. And I'm gonna start with the bangs, so I wanna recreate one of her more iconic looks, I believe, which is the blue shadow with the rhinestones all over. So yeah, pray for me. I already did my foundation and like blush, all that stuff off camera and I'm going to start by kind of draw the shape with a white liner This is actually harder than I thought, maybe this is not like the best liner for it Now that both eyes are lined, I'm going to be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette and I'm gonna be using the white shade just to kind of work as a eyeshadow primer Okay, everything is white now and I'm going to use the NYX Ultimate palette and this is the electric one. This is like the most similar shade of blue I could find here. Oh, I'm actually very very happy about this. I think the white base underneath just really helps it. Okay, so this blue is very pretty, but I think hers is a little bit more teal, so I'm going to mix a little bit of this shade right here. Yeah, I think this is more the shade that she uses. And I'm gonna be adding this shadow from a Stilazi Darkroom palette and it's this one to darken the outer corners here. So I changed to the living room because I think the lighting is better here. So the eyes, I already did the gradient, I think they look so much better now. And I'm going to start with the rhinestones. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on my hand first. Rhinestone is in. Okay, one eye is done and now I need to do the other one. I literally spent like 15 minutes only on this eye, so it's a long time. I'm going to use a mascara for the lashes and also for the eyebrows because her eyebrows are like just brushed up. So I'm gonna add some uh, false lashes too. Okay, this looks so much better with the false lashes. Now the last last thing for this look is actually the lips and I'm going to line them with the Morphe Trendsetter, which is like a brown liner. And now I'm gonna be using the lip palette by Anastasia again, but I'm going to use this shade right here, which is like a light nude. And this is basically it. I'm really happy with this look. I think we are starting the video with a bang. And I'm going to record a little beauty shot so you guys can see the real glow. And I can't wait to do this for seven days straight. Hey guys, so second day today and I don't want to do like a look like yesterday that takes like an hour Today I want something more simple so I chose this one Basically she's wearing like a very dark purple cat eyeliner with some rhinestones I'm going to start with the eyeliner and I don't have a purple eyeliner and every time I want a color of eyeliner that I don't own what I do is use liquid lipstick instead so that's what I'm going to use today I'm going to use this by Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the shade potion it needs to be a thick eyeliner for the rhinestones to fit in 
I let it dry and then I go again Okay, so since it's looking a little bit dark I'm going to set with this purple eyeshadow from Fenty Beauty Yeah, I think this color looks much better Now I'm going to apply the rhinestones Oh my god, this is looking so cute, guys I mean, this one is going to be hard The last one Okay, both eyes are done. This is so cute. I'm loving this look. Now I'm gonna apply mascara like yesterday. Now for the lips, I'm going to start by this that I've been using for a blush lately, which is an Eloise uh, liquid highlighter. Right now I'm going to use it as a gloss. And I'm going to add it like this. And now I'm going to add this Stilazi gloss. It's called Pink Sand. And now to finish, because her lips are really sparkling, I want to add real glitter. So I'm going to use the Glitter Dust by H&M Beauty. And I'm just going to apply it with my finger. Okay guys, this is the final look. But yeah, I'm really proud of this look. So now it's time for some beauty shots. And I guess I see you for tomorrow's new look. Welcome to day number three. Today I want to shoot some pictures for Instagram and I don't want it to be super like extreme with rhinestones and everything. Um, so I found this one that I really like. It's still very edgy like all her looks but it only has like glitter and eyeliner. It doesn't have really like rhinestones or really strong colors. It's like a black and white look. So this is the glitter I'm going to use. This is from Colourpop. It's called Tripping on Skies. So using a brush I will just put it all over the lid. I absolutely love this glitter and I'm gonna do the same with the other eye now. Yeah, basically like this. I really like the result. I always use this glitter for my inner corner just a tiny bit. So this is like the much I ever applied of this. Okay, now before the eyeliner, I'm gonna do the bottom part because she looks like she has a little bit of a smoky eye. I'm gonna use this Colourpop. I've been using Colourpop a lot. It's called Frisky. Really small smoky eye situation. Um, and I'm gonna start by doing a regular wing but like a very thin one. I'm so scared. <laughs> mm, this is a little messy. Now for the lipstick, she's wearing like a super light color of nude and I'm going to be using the NYX lingerie um, in the shade Lace Detail. And now to finish the look and kind of hide the mess that I have in my eyes, I'm gonna apply some fake lashes. I'm not mad at it, I like it, it's just not that well uh, executed. As you can see, I'm gonna shoot this for my Instagram today here in my house. Yeah, I don't even know how I'm gonna make that work. Taking pictures from now on inside the house. I will try to make this work and I'll probably see it on my Instagram now. Beauty shots! So we are in day number four and it's like the middle of the challenge, the middle of the week I feel like I've been doing more like the Maddie from Euphoria character And I want to do a little bit of Alexa too So this is a look that you'll probably see on red carpets and on Instagram It's very simple, it has a really strong black eyeliner and nude lips which is like my go-to So I'm gonna be using the Morphe Bronze Goals palette It's just one of my favorites because it's like full of nude shades and I will be using this earth tone right here and she's only wearing a bit of shadow so just a little bit and do the same with the other eye now I'm gonna use this matte black shade right here okay so both eyes are done I really love this look it's very dramatic so I went and added some fake lashes because she's wearing some fake lashes too now the lips I'm going to be using the trendsetter by Morphe lip liner I'm applying the NYX lingerie uh, corset So yeah guys, I think this is it I think it's very similar to hers And it's one of my favorites because it's like something I would wear on an everyday basis So yeah, I'm really happy with this one Let's do some beauty shots now Day 
number five. Oh my gosh. Today the look is very cute, uh, but I'm kind of scared to recreate it, as always probably. The look is this one. I think it's very cute because it has a weird color combo. I would never had this idea to mix these two colors, but actually she looks very good in them. So today I'm going to start by the lips to change it up a little bit, I'm tired of starting always with the eyes. I'll use the Precision Lip Pencil in the shade number 313. And now I'm going to use a Stilazi Birthday Suit Lip Cream. Now for the eyes, the hard part, I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty Liquid Liner and this is the shade Hottie Alert. This is going to work as like a base for the rest of the lilac shadow and hopefully make it a little bit lighter. And now on top of this I will use the Fenty Beauty 8 Pastel Frost Shadow Palette and I will be using the lilac shade over here. I guess I have to make this work somehow. Actually, it's not that bad. Okay, now for the eyeliner. I don't have a neon orange eyeliner, so I decided to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette and I mix this red over here with a bit of yellow and a bit of white, created this orange here. Okay, one eye is done and I'm not even mad about it, I think it could be a little bit more neon, but I think it worked out great. This is from Colourpop, it's called A Flutter, and it has this beautiful shade of orange here, so I'm just going to add that on top. I think the eyeshadow really helps to pop the eyeliner and it looks more neon so I'm pretty happy about that and this is the final look I'm so happy with this guys so I never thought I would like this color combo and that I would like this on me but honestly I love this look and I want to wear it more I think it really fits me the colors I don't know I'm really digging it in day number six and today's look is one of the easiest to make at least i'm hoping so it's this really beautiful blue super vibrant shadow so i want to recreate this one i think it's going to be uh, easy and fast to recreate so i'll be using the anastasia beverly hills uh, lip palette once again this is, has been like a savior for me in this video and i'm gonna be mixing the blue and the white to create the same shade that she has okay so i think it looks similar to her so i'm going to start applying now okay i really like this shadow so i'm going to try to set this with a really really light eyeshadow you can see that it became a little bit lighter so i'm going to add a little bit of this shadow right here from fenty beauty she just has a really tiny wing liner I'm adding a little bit of mascara now. Okay, now for the lips, I will be using this combo, which is the Cindy from Lime Crime, which is a liquid lipstick, a matte one, and on top I will be adding the Ultra Glossy Lip by Colourpop. And this is a shade Lesson Learned. I really like this combo and I actually use it a lot. So this is it guys, today is a very beautiful sunny day and I can't go outside because I'm in quarantine, so I'm going to do some beauty shots here um, in my backyard with the sunlight because I think it's going to look better and I see you guys tomorrow for the last last day of this video guys so another day in quarantine and this is actually the last day of this video so for today's look i'm going to be recreating this one first of all i think it's a very dramatic because it has a lot of color it combines two colors and it's all done with like blending so i think it's a little bit hard to do so i'm using this color correction kit by gosh and i'm using this yellow shade right here just as a eyeshadow primer so i'm just going to apply it all over the lid so I'm going to use this uh, palette by Colourpop, it's called 
just my look and it's an all green palette. I'm gonna use this one over here which is the more neon one. And I'm gonna be using this Fenty Beauty palette and I'm gonna be using this purple. I'm feeling this Fenty shadows a little bit harder to blend. So this shadow is not really convincing me. Sorry Fenty, please don't remove me from your PR list. So I'm gonna try with this purple by Juvia's. And this palette is called Zulu. Okay, this is much better. Can you see the difference between this eye and this one? Oh my god, I should have gone with this purple from the beginning because it's so much better. So she doesn't seem to have any eyeliner here, so I'm going to add uh, mascara and fake lashes on the top. Hi, I'm back with some big ass lashes and I'm gonna try to do the bottom lashes. Let's see how they work here. Okay, 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 not bad. Oh my god, it feels so weird. Okay guys, oh my god, this is so crazy but so cool. Just outlining the lips as usual. So I'm gonna go straight with the Morphe, what is this? Shield gloss. Now I'm gonna go straight with this. So yeah, this look is done. I'm so happy with this one. I left this one to the last day because I was so scared, but I'm really happy. So guys, this was it for this video. I'm so happy that I accomplished this challenge of doing 7 days straight of Alexa's makeup because I learned makeup skills, I learned that I uh, can be more adventurous with my makeup. So yeah, thank you Alexa for the inspo, thank you guys for watching this video and let me know in the comments which look did you like the most this week and come back next Tuesday because I'll be right here with y'all. Love you!